Admiral Albert Hastings Markham, uh, a Victorian tale of triumph, uh, tragedy, and exploration um, by Frank just just Sabowski. Sorry for getting your last name wrong. I just have good good feeling I got it, the last name wrong, but um so you're looking at about eight chapters and um two appendix of appendices. Um so he the author goes with like many may not know his name which unless you like naval exploration history yeah you're not going to really know his name <coughs> so like in the introduction the first like sentences albert hastings markham this is a, not a name that most readers would recognize Nonetheless, the Victorian naval officer lived a fascinating life full of adventure worth investigating. After his death in 1918, the Globe claimed that his passing removed from society one of the most arresting figures of his time. This book will explore Markham's adventures to resurrect his name from irrelevance. So, um, <clears throat> I think the author kind of has done that. Um, so you're looking at him going into the naval career at the age of 14 and him working his way up to being an admiral and, um, doing the things that he's done. So, um... Uh, the ships that he's led to like success. Um, there's some primary sourcing and mentions throughout the book. Um, and like he was part of an Arctic exploration. Um, you are getting like primary imagery. Um, So, like, uh, you get a bit of family history um, leading up to, at age 14, him going in. Um, does talk about, like, um, pirates, temporary leave. Um, reacting um, from his attacks. Um, the people and ships that he's worked with or, like, worked on. Um up to a trial um and his death so um yeah it's a decent look at his life and um who he was as a person in naval history and english history in, and english um, exploration and um, the English at sea. So yeah, great for anybody who has interest in those topics or want to learn about certain figures that you don't really hear other than like Christopher Columbus or whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, Admiral Albert Hastings Markham, happy readings.